It was a miracle. Last season, the Buffalo Bills made it to the playoffs for the first time in 18 years. It was glorious. For the first time in a generation, we had a quarterback who seemed competent and a city had hope. And after it all was over, we in the Bills organization looked at each other and said, this can never happen again. So we hired a bunch of new quarterbacks, and I'm the guy who coaches them. Who are the Bills quarterbacks? Let's hear some of these names impress you. Josh Allen, Nathan Peterman, AJ McCarron. You just got traded. Uh, sure, they're not big names, but they're all NFL players who have the capability to at any moment throw a wobbly pass into the teeth of the defense. Now that's Bills football. To paraphrase Roberts and Makis's Academy Award winning Forrest Gump, the Bills quarterbacks are like a box of chocolates. Most of Raph already broken. Just the other day, Sean McDermott came in and asked me who should start on Sunday. And I said, coach, I've been thinking about this a lot. Pick a color. Co Welcome to the strategy room. Here is where we really nail down the Bills quarterback situation. You're in for a treat. Mm -hmm. Here's why I ask the tough questions. One, can he stand up? Two, can he throw a football? Three, is he seriously ready to take a beating? If he gets the three yeses, oh, he's playing on Sunday. <laughs> and that's what I call coaching. Here's another little strategy I rigged up when I want to know who to start on Sunday. I just reach in here and... <laughs> EJ Manuel. How'd I get in there? <laughs> Coaching! Yeah. Look, Bills fans have no expectations. So it's all going to be fine. They know I'm doing the best I can. Truth is, I don't know anything about football. I'm a pastry chef over at Cheesecake Factory. Now that's what I call Bills football.